Here's the plan. I'm going to make vegetarian chili for a party that I'm going to in a couple of days. So that means that it'll have a couple days to set and the um, spices will get in there, the flavor will get in there really good, which means that also means that when I go to the party, I hope everyone eats it because it'll already be a couple days old and I won't want to save it very much longer after that. Um, there may be another vegetarian chili video on YouTube of mine. This might just be the updated version. So I used um, Morningstar Crumbles as the hamburger and I used lentils instead of um, what people usually refer to as chili beans, I think they're kidney beans, um, because lentils have a whole lot of protein, but they're less calorically dense. Um, so, Boca Crumbles, lentils, just diced, any brand of diced tomatoes, I go for the one that's on sale at the store, could be store brand, maybe some other kind, um, usually has 25 calories for a half, half of a cup, and this one is pretty low in sodium, you would want to look for that. I am going to start with boiling a half a cup of dry lentils. I'm going to rinse them first and then boil them in not as I'm going to boil them almost to the texture I want them to be at the end, but I'm going to I want to say al dente because that's what you say with pasta. So they're not going to be quite done because they're going to cook a little bit more when they're in the tomatoes. Um, and there may be too many because, uh, you know, they're going to grow. So I'm not sure if I'll use the whole half a cup in the actual chili. I'll decide that later. I'm going to use probably this whole green pepper and most of this onion. Probably both cans. And I guess a cup of the boca. Morningstar crumble, sorry. And I'm going to use onion powder, cumin, garlic powder, and chili powder. I use dry just because I do. Um, but I'm going to blend them. So maybe it'll be a quarter to a half a teaspoon of each. And I'm going to blend them in here. So I think that's it for now. I'm going to cook my lentils and Get everything else prepped. Um, don't forget to rinse off the top of your cans before you open them. And um, I'll be back. Okay, the lentils are hard boiling away and should be done in no time and I will strain them and set them aside. So the replacement for the hamburger is the Morning Star. It says meal starters, I call them crumblers. Um, Boca crumbles is what I keep calling them even though they're not. Boca, their morning star. And they also make a sausage um, flavor, so this is not the sausage. And that uh, chopped up onion came to about a cup. Um, it's not finely chopped. They're about a quarter of an inch square, cubed. Um, the whole green pepper. This pan is on now, and I'm going to spray it not that spray and simmer fry the onions and green peppers with the spices and that means that I'll be adding water as they saute um, and that's how I simmer fry in case this is the first video you've ever seen. Um, so I'll simmer fry the onions and green peppers five or ten minutes as long as it takes to get them a little bit translucent, probably only five minutes. And I will add the dry spices and I will add the tomatoes. Stir that up really well and then cook it on low to medium for about 30 minutes, watching it so it doesn't seem to be drying out. You want the tomatoes to cook, but you don't want to lose all your moisture. Um, and then after 30 minutes, I'll check to see if it's the way I, I want it to be and then I may add the lentils. But you're going to come along with me so you'll know. Um, and I'll add the boca after the tomato. Morning star crumbles. So, sorry I have my back to you. Sorry I don't have a fan on my stove. Green peppers and onions. 
and I'll put the water in here. My simmer fry water takes the place of oil. And I'm not going to put my spices in yet because we'll just dry up because there's no oil. My produce is covering most of this pan. I think I'll go ahead. These dry slices will go on onions and peppers. And you should taste it. You have to be careful with your spices. Make sure you get enough in there, but know that it should, the spices should um, become more pungent overnight, you know, after you refrigerate it and stuff. So you don't want the pan to get dry, so that's the whole simmer fry thing. Just a little bit at a time. And they'll saute, and as that water evaporates, then you add some more until your vegetables are cooked somewhat. Just like if you were sauteing anything in oil, you get them to a certain texture, and then you add the rest of your stuff. Same idea. So. Do this for a while until you get it right. <laughs> Whatever that means. Add your tomatoes. I'm going to add both cans and add your fake meat and the rest of your spices and simmer for 30 minutes. Now well, here's some simmer fry action. And there are my lentils that I've already cooked. They're waiting their turn. Um, so I'm going to let this go a couple more minutes and then I'll add the tomato. Okay, you can see through the steam that the pan's just about dry now. There's no more water and the vegetables are partially cooked. So now's when I will add the tomato. Oops. In the pan, but not over the side of it. <laughs> oh, now I'm steaming up the camera. So, mix all of this well, there you go, the rest of my spices, not many, and I'm going to <clears throat> turn it down. It's hard to stir with the plate. <laughs> okay, stir them all in there, good. And I think I am going to use all the lentils later. I'm going to let... Not sure what I said before. Four, I think. <laughs> I so do this stuff just as I go along. It's crazy. All right. I'm stirring it all in, and I'm going to let it simmer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is not long enough, but man, is it smelling good. Um, I have simmered it some with the cover on. It started to dry out. I've added a little bit of water, too, because I don't want it to dry out, but... Um, my tomatoes aren't, I can usually tell the tomatoes get darker, um, so they're not the right color red, but everything else is looking good and smelling great. So I think, I think I'm going to do 15 more minutes and then I'm going to add the lentils and maybe do 10 more minutes there, but it smells fantastic. Oh, and then I have my secret, secret ingredients I throw in at the end, so don't turn the video off yet. Okay, this is going to be it. Um, I cooked about 15, cooked it about 15 minutes longer and stirred in the lentils and I'm going to bring the camera over to show you. Um, it is lentil heavy so you might want to use a, a third of a cup dry instead of a half. And my secret ingredient, cinnamon. So it's all, it's almost all done cooking. Just a splash, just a tiny bit. And I might add a tiny bit of sweetener like I do to my spaghetti sauce. I don't think I've done that before. I'm thinking I might do that today. I haven't decided yet, so that's up to you. Oh, by the way, and I'm going to bring the camera over, and I know you guys are going to want to know. Well, some of you, some of you could care less. It's probably going to have less than 100 calories for like a cup, but this whole this whole pot of chili has less calories than a Big Mac. Has less calories than a piece of pie. It's very low calorie, high nutrient 
and a lot of good, healthy protein in this chili. And you don't know, it smells really awesome and it's going to taste good too. Um, but it has 530 calories for the whole thing. So you can serve it however you want and then you'll know. Like if you serve it to five people, we'll have 100 calories. Here it is. So I'll cook it for just a few more minutes and it's done and then of course I'll cool it out here and then refrigerate it and warm it up for the party.